quick recap of the week, and it was a very busy one abroad, with North Korea reportedly planning new missile launches, Theresa May still trying to work out the Brexit mess, and Justin Trudeau up to his cheekbones in a major scandal. But instead of that, I would like to focus on what happened this week in Brazil, a country whose anaconda don't want none unless it's a tourist who got too close to the river. Carnival wrapped up in Brazil this week, and Jair Bolsonaro, their new far-right leader and sun-dried Frankie Muniz, got a lot of attention on Wednesday for an unexpected attack on the event. The festivities have been denounced as debaucherous by the president, who tweeted a video apparently filmed at a carnival event showing one man urinating on another man in a sexual act. We're not going to show the video. Oh, you're not, are you? You're not. Well, guess what? We're not afraid. We are going to show it to you. Except, of course we're not. What are you cheering for? No, we're not. This is HBO. This company doesn't show debaucherous sex for the hell of it, unless a dragon is also there to make it okay. That is the clear rule. What we will do, though, to give you a sense of what the video contained, is to utilise the YouTube channel Squirting Mustard. If you are not familiar with it, and you're not, it's just a series of videos of someone squirting mustard on random objects. So to give you a basic idea of what Bolsonaro tweeted, it was essentially this. pretty much it, and now you can picture that in your head for the rest of this segment, as well as every time you eat a hot dog for the rest of your life. <laughs> and as if tweeting out a golden shower video weren't weird enough, Bolsonaro added the caption, this is what many street parties in Carnival have become, comment and draw your conclusions, which, you know, can do, Jair. My comment is, what the fuck are you doing? And my conclusion is, you're a terrible president. <laughs> So why did Bolsonaro do this? Well, he may have been angry that many of this year's carnival revelers had parodied and roasted him. For instance, one city paraded giant puppets of celebrities and Bolsonaro's received a decidedly mixed reaction with crowds not just flipping it off as it waddled through the streets, but also pelting it with so much beer it needed to be wiped down. And it is not a great sign when your puppet is singled out for abuse, especially when for some reason it's marching in a group that includes a puppet Michael J. Jackson. And how much work must have gone into that puppet that they still brought it out after the documentary? Look, I've already sunk weeks into this, and to be fair, the documentary doesn't really tell us anything that, as a society, we haven't been fully aware of and willfully repressing since 1993. So if you're getting angry about it now, you're either disingenuously riding the current social wave, or you're incredibly fucking naive. Carnival! But, but honestly... A more likely reason for Bolsonaro tweeting that video was probably just a desperate attempt to change the conversation in Brazil, because things are not going well there for him. For, uh, the, the, he's only been in office a little over two months, but his administration's approval rating is at just 39%. So Bolsonaro could well simply be trying to deflect from that by going back to what he does best, engaging in homophobic culture war bullshit. It is very much his brand. And incredibly, despite all the blowback he got for tweeting the video, he responded the next day by tweeting, what is a golden shower? <laughs> and you know it has been a weird, weird week when the leader of 209 million people is asking Twitter a question you'd expect Gail King to be asking R. Kelly.